Hello, it's Phil Thatch, and here I sit at the entrance or the trailhead for the little trail slash rock climbing expedition that you take to get to Middle Creek Falls, which is probably the closest waterfall to uh, Chattanooga. And I've been wanting to do some waterfall photography for quite a while. I did a lot of waterfall photography over the winter, and I haven't done any in a while now. And so this will be my first attempt at waterfall photography with my new Canon camera. Um, right now I'm vlogging with it using the, um, the 24 to 105 f4 to f7.1 lens, which, uh, you know, it's a really cheap lens. It's almost my cheapest lens. The nifty 50 is cheaper, but most of my lenses cost way, way more than this lens. And it does all right. It has image stabilization plus the camera uh, has in-body image stabilization and those two combine to, to do pretty good for vlogging. I, I like the look of vlogging with my 24-70 f2.8 better than this one because it, you know, that 2.8 has great, um, has great uh, shallow depth of field, really nice bokeh in the background. But that lens weighs way, way more than this lens. So this would, you know, in terms of actual practicality, this lens is a much better choice for vlogging if you don't want to uh, really um, get a sore arm holding the camera. And I, I think the I'm, I'm looking now at the at the side screen while I move it around. I think the picture quality is pretty good. And that uh, the box is staying right on my eye. Occasionally it loses my eye and then it goes straight to my face. So it seems to be working pretty good as I wait for this rain to stop so I can go and attempt to photograph Middle Creek Falls. All right, well, it's just barely raining. It's still, you can still hear a lot of thunder going on, but I've decided to kind of throw caution to the wind and, and just head out and see if I can get there uh, before the rain starts coming down hard again. So, wish me luck. I'll check in with you a few times along the trail as now it starts to get much more dense around me. And I can already hear the creek. But the falls, you know, it's probably, I bet it's only an eighth of a mile. And the first third or maybe even half of that eighth of a mile is really easy, like where I'm walking right now but the second half makes up for it. It is a, it's basically a rock climbing expedition to get to this falls, but it's so beautiful. And you know, my favorite place to shoot it is right on top of it. Uh, but to shoot there, you need an ultra wide. And uh, the widest I have today is 24 millimeters. So I won't have to do the part of the climb where I try to get right to it. But I'll definitely get, or hopefully I'll get close enough to get a decent photograph from a little further back. This is kind of the second area that you can see the creek at as you hike the trail. This is really easy to get to. And I think it looks really beautiful and I may go ahead and stop right here and get my camera out and make a shot of this. Actually, my camera's already out, but I may switch out of video mode. I've made a few shots from here. I'm kind of enjoying this location and I went ahead and put my polarizer on and I'm gonna turn it and let you see what it does. That's fully polarized. And that's fully not polarized. And I'm kind of trying to land, I don't want to be that dark. I'm trying to go about right there, leave a little bit of depth in the rocks, but not too much. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Here is the photo from Middle Creek. I only ended up making one photograph of this composition. Actually, I made several photographs, but this was the best one of this composition before inevitably the rains came back and I had to rush back to the car. Well, the rain is back and I put all my gear up. I just left the, the camera on the bigger tripod 
and flipped it back into video mode. And I am, uh, what am I doing? Oh, and I'm making a wrong turn while I'm vlogging, trying to get back to the car. So I will not be making it all the way to Middle Creek Falls today, but I have done my first creek photography with the R6. Now I had a, I had just released yesterday my uh, video that talked about the unboxing of the 70-200 f2.8 and one of the commenters asked how I would rate the weather sealing on the R6 and I told him that I had never used it in the rain before and I'm using currently a lens that doesn't even have weather sealing. The camera is supposed to be weather sealed and we will see because I'm going to vlog all the way back to the car and we'll see how it does. I think there may be some water on my polarizer which is still on the lens so I'm going to wipe that off. All right I'm going to interrupt that uh, hiking back to the car clip just for a moment to report uh, now that I've made it back to the car got out my trusty green microfiber cloth dried the camera off dried the lens off seems to be no worse for wear so uh, initial weather sealing test on the EOS R6 and the non weather sealed 24 to 105 f4 to 7.1 is thumbs up all right let's continue hiking back to the car that might be a little better Looks like autofocus is still working. I can still see a box on my eye as I make my way over this terrain. You know, I'm, I'm kind of glad that I didn't get to the hard part of the hike because it's so wet and even the easy part of the hike has kind of worn me out today. But uh, I love this place. You know, I live in a part of Chattanooga, kind of northeast of downtown and it's really good for getting to Harrison Bay State Park and it's good for getting to Volkswagen wetlands but you have to take a little bit of a drive to get to the nearest waterfall they're kind of on the mountain side of the Tennessee River and I'm kind of on more of a valley side of the Tennessee River so it's easier if I'm in a wildlife photography mood which I kind of have been lately it's really a lot easier for me to get to a wildlife location and you know I probably could have done pretty good wildlife photography today just shooting out the window of the car but I knew this was going to be the first time that the creeks were flowing since I bought this camera so I went for it and did not make it to the waterfall but I have made it to the creek and at least done some white water photography now next thing is I'm on the side of a road where people could stop and knock the window out of my car and get things and presently in the car is the 70 to 200 the 24 to 70 L lenses 2.8 the 100 to 500 is in the car and so is the 800 millimeter lens but it looks like the car has not been broken into as you can see no damage there so hope you enjoyed this video Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.